Canberrans will soon have access to potentially life-saving treatment for rare cancers. Half of all cancer deaths are caused by rare types of the disease, something a new trial is hoping to change. Claire Sibthorpe reports. Eight hours on the road, sometimes for a 15-minute checkup. Weekly trips to Sydney give Louise Lifshoots one more chance of beating a rare and advanced chest cancer. Just to see doctors because I have to keep a, a very close eye on you and, and when I will be receiving some in infusions, I have to sort of stay there overnight, it can get a bit tiring. This routine will soon change. Louise is one of seven Canberrans taking part in a rare cancer trial at Sydney's Garvin Institute of Medical Research. The trial will soon be extended to Canberra Hospital, giving as many as 100 more patients the chance to join and making life easier for existing participants. It would mean a world of difference. Um, first of all, um, I, could, I wouldn't have to take a whole day off work. The study uses each individual's genetics to find the most effective treatment. As distinct from the more conventional way of trying to guess which treatments might work for a particular patient, which is based on the appearance of the cancer cells and where the cancer cells started. Surgery and chemotherapy haven't stopped these aggressive tumours from returning. At this stage it's the only option. The ACT government is funding the three-year program, but after that... The immunotherapy for rare cancers, if, if just purchase it privately can be in the order of fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year. The same drugs are available for more common cancers and not available for on the PBS for um, rare cancer sufferers, but they need it just the same. Professor Kraft says work is underway to change this, but Luis is fighting his battle one step at a time. So I still count myself quite lucky to to be on a trial. Soon, other Canberrans will be able to take that leap. Claire Sipthorpe, ABC News, Canberra.